G'day folks, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to uh, <clears throat> change from a fixed pedestal seat, as in this style here with the bolt-on seat on the top of it, to a removable pedestal seat, like so. And you'll be able to pull the seat pole out and just have a hole in the floor. Um, I used the material here with a big strong back on it and then it's got a plastic insert inside of it so we don't get any rattling around and the seat pole fits nice and snug in here and then once the floor's there you'll just have a hole in the floor only okay opposed to having all this bolted system on that you cannot remove this out of the boat so if you wanted to sleep it's going to get in the way uh, so today I'm going to make some seat poles to start with that work and I have to go from what we have as a 50 mil by 4 aluminium tube seat pole and I have to bring this out to suit this one. Okay, um, we'll have to uh, bridge it a little bit further. We're using some more tube. This will be welded on here, welded on here. And then we also then take that off there and use a bit of this tube as well because this is the size of the seat clamps that are already in the boat. So we're going to use the seats that are in the boat. Um, it's got a, a fully adjustable seat forwards, backwards, and it won't need to, it can twist around with this one but we don't need to twist around because we'll have that ability to do that inside the boat. Um, I have to lift the floors out of the boat and weld in some structure to hold in the bracketry needed to support the seat mounts. So we're gonna get into that today, starting off with just making two seat poles. Uh, the customer required them to be this high and obviously that high, I've got them a little bit higher than that because there's so much of it's got to go in to the floor of the boat. Um, so we'll get into that now. Right, first things first, all the safety gear of course, using my favourite tool, the air sword. I need, this is a sacrificial piece now, I need some of this. I only need this much. You can see where it's worn down to. Ooh. Hang on. I need this sacrificial piece here. So I need two lengths of that. I'm only putting two seats in. So I need a piece of this original seat pole and I'm gonna cut it off with the air saw. Okay, so here's our sacrificial uh, piece of tube from the original boat. We're gonna cut this down here and here in the saw to give us a nice clean edge.
And these are our two pieces, good to go. And of course, my favourite tool, the deburrer. There's two of our pieces that we need. We've got two seat poles already. Now I need, now I need just two pieces of this material and we can start to weld them together. Two pieces, just as long as that will be fine. Perfect. I'll bring them back, you don't need to watch that. Here's all our pieces, done. So this one's going inside here, got a little bit of a gap to fill, we'll just weld all the way around that edge there, flip it over, and we'll weld all the way around that edge there, and then we'll slide this piece, once it's all welded on, we'll slide that over the top of there, weld that on there, and weld it on there. And then this piece from the original chair will slide over the top, and bolt on so they can use the original seats with the new seat poles in the boat. All right, time for a little bit of welding. Okay, I've set my aluminium panel up on the bench and I've got the earth connected to it. So I don't need to earth the individual pieces. The earth will go through the aluminium. Um, this one here, you can see that we've just line that up nicely, just close enough is good enough. We'll do the same with this one. Sit that over the top there and just get that gap looking pretty nice around there and we'll tack them into position. There we go, so they're all tacked in nice. Looks pretty even to me. I do detect that there's a little bit of anodized material around the edge of that. These are anodized and anodizing doesn't weld as nice as if it, if it wasn't anodized. So I need to be a little bit careful. Put a weld on the other side as well. Make sure that there's, you can see that little bit of misalignment there. We just realign it. Get it right, like so. Put another couple of tacks on. Again, this is with a MIG welder today. It's so much faster, so much quicker, and when uh, it's not necessary to have it looking beautiful you don't get to see any of it although we do like to strive ourselves with making things look beautiful around here look at me pinholes there, I'll fix them. Simple as that. Flip them over and weld the other side.
have it two bits welded okay so the last thing that we need to do now is to weld these onto here I'm going to set them back in a little tiny bit shorter so that I can get a nice fillet weld around the edge in there and then a fillet weld around this edge here and that is our seat poles finished. All right, we've got two of them to do. All right, so I've set these back here and I'm gonna put a tack on the inside here and here, and then I'm gonna fully weld around the back and the inside there, and then our seat poles are finished. Now to weld around here, here, and inside there. cheat it and do it like this. Two seat poles, mate. Hey guys, that's a wrap on the seat poles. They're done, welded inside, outside. Little bit of a clean up on them. Same on the other one. And then of course, the plastic sock over the top. I'll take you in the boat now and show you why they needed to be this setup. Hey, so here we are. These are the original mounts that the customer no, no longer wants to use anymore. Plus, they screwed into the floor and screwed into the panel underneath and they ripped out and tore the screws out. And you can't get in there to put bolts underneath there because the floorboards are in the way. So to alleviate that problem, uh, what I'm going to do is remove this panel completely and build myself a pedestal seat pole holder and here we have the ones that we made inside obviously and these are the seats that the seat pole fits into nicely now all right and we'll just drop this into a pedestal seat pole in here and these are quite nice chairs 
they've got sides on them and everything. Need a good wash, but they're still pretty good condition. And of course, over this side is what used to be there. And they just lined up with these holes that have all pulled through. So we're going to fix that. And that'll be in the next video, I reckon, where I'll cut this out. I'll do this tomorrow. It's getting towards the end of the day now. Um, I'll get this cut out first thing in the morning and I'll film it all for you as well. So stay tuned for this one. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing because every day is a new story. See you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.